everyone, I'm Kelly Schaffner. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is my favorite video to make. It's a shoe haul. So if you enjoy shoe hauls, you're in the right place. I have some to share with you today. I'm an online reseller, so I treasure hunt for women's shoes and clothing to resell online for a profit. That is how I make my living. If you enjoy videos about reselling, I sure hope that you subscribe to my returning subscribers. Hello, how are you? I am so glad that you joined me today. I have 16 pairs of shoes to share with you today, and I paid $2 a piece, $2 a pair for all of these shoes at my local St. Vincent de Paul. That is the flat rate price for shoes. On occasion, they will mark up shoes, but I have noticed the shoes they mark up are the shoes that come with their original box. So any shoe that is donated with their original box, you pay $3 for the box. So you're paying more for that shoe box than the actual shoe. So the first day that I went, they had so many shoes and I did really, really good. I think people really donated at the end of the year and all of that inventory is hitting the shelves. But this is a small thrift store, so they don't have a lot of room. I picked up 15 pairs the first time I went. So a few days later, I thought I cleared those shelves. I gave them some room. I'm going to stop in and see if there's anything else. And my second trip, I only walked out with one pair of shoes. I'm going to start with those shoes because I think these were definitely worth stopping by one more time. Guys, it is on my way. I am not going out of my way to stop by this thrift store, but this is the sole pair of shoes that I picked up on my second trip. These are Vionic. These are called the Coralina. These are a size nine and these are like new. This is how this one came with all of the original packaging. I take all of this packaging out, guys. Even this, uh, I put this back on and I will ship them like this, but I don't photograph them with all of this stuffing in them. I don't even represent these as new without box or new without tags. This is a slingback espadrille wedge. It does have a rounded toe canvas chevron print on them and they are like new. So definitely worth going back. There's yeah. no order to this haul. I'm sharing with you what is on top first and I did pick up some boots. This is the first pair of boots I'll share with you. This is a pair of born boots. And of course, when you see a pair of leather boots that has this symbol back here on the heel, you're always hoping it might be a fry boot, but this is actually a born mid-calf, all leather, brown boot. These needed some TLC. I did bring them home and condition them, but they're in really nice shape. There is the soles on them and you can see the, am I showing it to you right? Yeah, where it says born right there, born. These do okay for me. I never pay a whole lot for born boots, but people know the brand. They do use nice quality leather and they're long lasting. They're durable footwear. So I look twice at born and I pick it up and add it to my stores if I can get it at a great cost of goods. This is a brand I have never tried before. If you have tried this brand. I would love to hear about your experience. I have seen this brand many times in the thrift store, but uh, yeah, I, I'll, and I'll tell you why I have hesitated to purchase boots by this brand in the past. I bought these because they were $2 and I thought that was a, a great price to give these a chance. These are by Dingo. Can you see that there, Dingo? And these are a leather upper boot, but it doesn't feel like a nice quality leather. I think these are a really cute style, um, but they do have some wrinkling here, creasing in the vamp, and there's some discoloration. And I don't think that that discoloration on these is manufactured, but I wasn't able to get it out with a leather cleaner. I'm not sure about these boots, to be honest with you, but I thought for... A $2 cost, it was worth giving them a try. I think they're really, really cute little cowgirl boots. And yeah, I'm going to give them a try, but we'll see. Like I said, I would love to hear about your experience selling dingo boots. I don't quite remember which pair of shoes was my favorite, but these are definitely in the running for being one of my favorite pairs of shoes I picked up this day. I picked up a lot of shoes that are in my size and these are my size. These are a size eight. 
They are a combat style booty. They're all man-made. This is a synthetic booty and I picked them up because they are on trend. They're by the brand Mia. And Mia makes some really trendy shoes. So yeah, I decided to give these a try. Guys, I'm not going to show you the label M-I-A. I call it Mia, but M-I-A makes a lot of trendy shoes. I would stay away from them unless they are current styles. This one does have the zip on the side and the lug soles, and they look marvelous. Oh, a little dirt, right? I should have done a better job cleaning those up. But Okay, this is the final pair of boots, guys, and aren't they precious? This is a pair of Crocs rain boots, children's rain boots. I think they're a four, five, five, six. They're an eight, nine. That's the size. Crocs, do I have it backwards? Crocs, eight, nine. These were really dirty, too, and I cleaned them up. It, guys, I could not get that little stain out. I listed them just like this. And when I was photographing them, I didn't notice this in the thrift store. That little white ring that goes on the pole is gone, but they're in pretty nice shape and we'll see. We'll see how they do. Next stop. Oh, okay. This is a pair of small shoes, but I still brought them home. They're in like new condition, guys. This is a pair of gold pebbled leather loafers by the brand Kate Spade. They are a small size, a size six, or are you six and a half? So they're a six and a half. Yeah, but they, they look like they were never worn. So even in that smaller size, I thought I would give them a try. And this is probably also one of my personal favorites. This is a pair of flats. I like these flats because they do have a teeny tiny little heel that's less than a one inch heel, but I find a little lift is far more comfortable than just uh, all flat. That's just my personal preference. This is a cow print animal fur calf hair flat by the brand Antonio Milani. Can you see it? Antonio Milani. This is a brand that sold at Dillard's. I find a lot of Dillard's brands in my area. That is the highest end department store in the town that I live in. So there are a lot of Dillard's brands in the thrift store. Look how cute this is. It has a little cutout on the vamp right there. And this is in marvelous shape. The soles look like this. And the thing with calf hair that I think you have to uh, look for is balding. If there is any balding, they don't get scuffs, They the fur falls off and these are in marvelous shape. They're a size eight, they're beautiful shoes. I did get some sneakers and I got two pair of Converse. I'm betting they were from the same donor. They are both size eight. This is women's size eight. This is the first pair. This is just a classic gray canvas Converse. Look at these. They're in marvelous, like new condition. Whoever had these Converse really didn't wear them much. Even the laces are still white. And that really played into my decision to purchase a pair of pretty simple Converse like these. I find that Converse sell better if they're a little bit more unique, but for the price that I paid, I thought that these were a good investment. They will offer me a return. And with Converse, I make two separate listings on Poshmark, one for the woman's market and one for the men's market. I got that tip a couple years ago from my friend Carrie at Carrie T Says here on YouTube. It's minimal work, but you get a lot more exposure. So with unisex shoes, that is what I have been doing. And these are the other Converse. This is a pair of white Converse, but let me get in close and see if you can see. These are leather. These are white leather Converse, and I think the owner wore these a little bit more. You can see there is some wear right there where it says Converse that we didn't see on the gray Converse, but again, they're in pretty good shape and they're leather, so someone wants some leather shoes. Next up is a pair of denim shoes with paint splatter on them that not top detail. This is a pair of platform, not a high platform, but a platform espadrille denim canvas shoe and the brand on these are Vince Camuto. These are also my size. These are a size eight. They're in fabulous condition. They have been worn, but they're in great pre-owned condition. 
Next up is another pair of flats. This is a brown leather croc embossed pointed toe bow detail flat and they are pretty flat guys. You can see that little bitty heel. That's going to be a pretty flat ride. These are my size. These are also a size eight and these are by Adrian Vittadini. Uh, let me show you something I thought was really kind of cool. On this bow, this is a ribbon bow, but there is some leather trim right there to make sure that the bow doesn't fray. I like that little detail. These have been worn, but they're still in very, very nice condition. You can see the toes on them. The point on the toe looks marvelous. So yeah, I decided to get those. These would look a little bit nicer if I had some stuffing in them. I photograph all of my shoes most of my shoes with stuffing and uh, I must have taken it out to photograph other shoes but this is what these sneakers look like and is the brand you can see the brand right there this is Vionic you guys know my favorite brand to sell Vionic I have never sold a Vionic sneaker I don't run across Vionic sneakers very often but these were in Marvelous shape. They're a size nine and a half. I don't remember the name on them. Vionic always has a name on their tag. These are the Venture. I do remember that. Venture out in a pair of like new Vionic sneakers. I'm excited to give these a try. These are a classic. Black leather, round toe, ballet flat in fabulous condition. Did you see the brand right there? These are also Vionic. These are a size seven. These are called the Carol Flat. And they were in really good condition. Now, Vionic has, on most of their shoes, the first pair that I showed you, the, what were they called? The Coralina. Uh, they were a slingback, and the insoles do not come out of those. But on most Vionics, the insole will come out, and these insoles were pretty dirty, so I did scrub them. There is the brand. You might be able to see it a little better. And I did kind of scrub the brand, part of the brand, most of the brand, off of this shoe, but the shoes are still in really good condition. I sanitize and clean all of my shoes. Sometimes they come out beautiful and sometimes not so much. I'm really proud of how these came out. This is what the soles look like. So these were worn and loved, but you don't see any signs of wear on these. I am really fond of these shoes. Look at how cute these shoes are. That is a navy blue. I don't know if it's showing up correctly, but this is a slingback flat with a about an inch heel on them with that beaded, I call them daisies. They look like daisies to me. Uh, yeah, this is just a really cute leather bottom, size eight. These are my size. And this is by the brand Talbot's. Now, I didn't do anything to that label. It's just a little bit faded on both of the shoes, so I decided to give these a try. They have been worn, and they do show some signs of wear on the bottom. They haven't been worn much. Leather bottoms almost always show some wear, but the integrity of these shoes is there. The point, check out the point, awesome. I mean, just the heels, they're in great shape, and I think they're fun. I know someone is going to enjoy wearing those shoes. These were a fun find. They were really, really dusty. I imagine they sat in someone's closet for a while, but they're in marvelous condition. They just needed a little brushing, a little cleaning. Look at what marvelous shape they are. Can you see these are Dance Co? You can see on the bottom and you can see how great these are. No scuffing, no signs of wear on these. They are the red suede leather. It's called Poppy and I cannot remember what these shoes are called, and I don't see it right offhand, but this is what they look like. I think these are the largest shoes that I brought home with me, a size 40. I'm always looking for larger sizes of shoes. They seem to sell a little bit better for me, but I like these red suede shoes. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is it, guys. This is the last two pairs. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. I'm going to share them together and that sunlight is going to blow them out. But these are glitter keds. 
I absolutely love them. They do have the uh, satin ribbon laces on them. This shoe is actually described as a wedding shoe. Isn't that a fabulous idea? Once the ceremony is over, the bride can put on these fabulous little keds and dance the night away, have a great time. The brand on these is Kate Spade. I have sold Kate Spade Keds collaboration before and they do pretty well. They're always kind of special like these. So I do have the exact same shoes in both a cream color. It's not quite white, a cream color. And these are the black ones and both of them are in a size eight and a half. You can see they both have spades on the back of them and you can see they really don't have a lot of wear. The black shoes actually had a little bit more dirt than the white shoes, but both of them in really great shape. Again, this is also Kate Spade. So that is the end. That is 16 pairs of shoes that I picked up at St. Vincent de Paul. Did I leave without picking up clothes? No, you guys know I got some clothes as well, and that will be the next video. It will be shorter. I didn't get as many clothes. Make sure that you are subscribed if you are interested in seeing the fashion that I picked up at St. Vincent de Paul. It's such a great cost of goods too. And I'll tell you what, I got some nice pieces to resell. I'm gonna make Make some money so make sure that you subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon in the next video blessings to all of you